Hi. Hey, everybody. My name is LeBron Arnwine. And I'm Jessica Hyde. And welcome to The, the Journey. Journey. This week, we will be talking about a song called Faithful. This is from a record that we did in our very early days of working together, doing music production. Uh, back when we used to do records, not singles, we live in a single-driven market, even though I do believe We're records back. are coming back. And I like a compilation of work. You know that, what I mean? And not even just digital. Like, I'm seeing people put out these Y'all remember what these is? The fact he had that sitting in his office, just a bunch of blank seeds. Y'all remember you had to burn a mix before you go on a road trip or something? Get a permanent marker and you write on the top of it so you knew which one it was. Yeah, a couple things we want to just talk about is from an artist's perspective, coming into knowing who you are as an artist, what type of sound you want to cultivate and create for yourself. And it takes time to, you know, to get, to get there. It, it just does. You know, you, you don't know who you are yet and as you grow up and get older and mature your sound might change your voice changes all of these things so this is a song hey i'll let you i'm talking about like i only want to no I, I mean you're doing good talking so it's gonna keep on going yeah i can talk oh that he can but, do please but don't hurt don't let her talk uh -huh. but i can too i was gonna add it he'll just give me a minute go ahead <clears throat> anyway um, the first time I found LeBron and I was like, hey, let's do an album. I had no idea. Um, I was going, I actually started recording just because people told me, you need to record an album. You need to record a record. So I was just like, I guess that's the next step. You know, I didn't really listen to what I actually wanted to do or sound like or anything. And then I say it all the time. I know it's, it's kind of awkward sometimes, but, you know, being mixed, you kind of get pulled in two different directions of like, you should be in that CCM something something vein. No, you need to be at churchy gospel, like whatever. And I was like, what do I need to do? And they're like, well, you can do a run every now and then. Don't say nothing. He be hitting runs all the time. Test me right quick. If I try to hit one. <clears throat> Go. Tell me a key you want me to be in. Tell you a key or sing. Sing me a song in this key. I don't know if I go major or minor. Minor. You he about to edit that thing too. I got it on tap, y'all. I got it on tap. <laughs> but uh, I kind of got torn in between two different sounds, actually more than two different sounds, because there's so many different ways you want to do things. And as an artist, you want to stand out and do something different. So it's like, oh gosh, what do I do? I am still, even after these nine years, we're still sitting like music that I want to do this year. We've done a whole album before. Yeah. And then out. sat on it and people are like, oh, we where's did. that song that we thought was coming out? And I'm like, well. We did. That ain't me. It like ain't really where I'm at. Songs. It was a lot, but we were actually looking at the track list that we had made, artwork, started artwork and stuff for it. You probably see it right here. Boop. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you'll you'll never stop learning that, and so um, you'll always be finding something new about yourself. And we found with this song, mm -hmm. I love to write different styles. It doesn't mean I have to sing everything that I write. I didn't know that at the time. So any Christian song that I wrote, I just thought we got to do it. So Faithful is one of the ones I brought to LeBron. And of course, he was just like, yeah. So he could hear all the band on it. He could hear all the stuff, you know, and it sounds great. Mm -hmm. But now it's a demo mm -hmm. because that ain't me. I think we should have a little bit of like the burn, 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 that Josh does in some of that stuff. I actually wrote this with Josh Lynch again uh he was like my very first writing partner what i love is that over the course of the time that we started working together we realized the importance of the arrangements and the music that's coming into it so um while i find this maybe you can talk to all those musicians that keep telling me that they don't write songs okay i have a great story i'm glad you even let me have a moment to talk i'll make it short so growing up in church and stuff we would take these songs that we would play all the time <clears throat> like if you were a church musician, especially in the black church, the song Fred Hammond song, Blessed, that is like the offering song of the ages. It will always be. It'll always be the offering song. And so we played it. So we would start to get creative on how can we make this song have new life to it, basically. So we would rearrange it. I didn't know at the time that is writing. You are writing a musical composition arrangement to accompany the lyric and melody of the song. You are shaping the, the emotion, the mood, the dynamic of the song. 
And so for a long time, I never considered myself a writer because I thought it was solely pen to paper. And even in the moment, you know, if you go back to our last episode of um, You Never Give Up, talk about all the ad libs, I didn't see that in my mind as writing. That was just something that was natural and that I did, you know? And so realizing that as a musician, the chords you play, whether you play piano, bass, acoustic, guitar, whatever it is, your, your chordal structure has the potential to change the way a singer sings a word, the note choice they might use, all these things you have now contributed to the songwriter and you are a songwriter. So if you think because I don't put pen to paper or write 13 verses of this song, I'm not a songwriter. Yes, you are. Yeah. Anyway. There was one point where I just looked at LeBron because he was doing so much musically that I was like, what if every song that I write, we just split 50 50? Yeah, that's right. Every song. There's some songs where I changed the entire bridge of the song because he played something different. He's like, what about this? And it changed the whole thing. Anyway, we're going to play the voice memo of <laughs> Josh Lynch Faithful. playing this for the first time for LeBron. I think actually you actually sang it that way on the recording and then I pitched it down to make it be the. You're right. Yeah. Him up what way is yeah. yeah. Josh is great, man. Josh got a little black in there, Josh. Josh got a little black around his to his veins. I'll tell you, man. And you'd never guess it by looking at him. <laughs> Those are LeBron snaps. They always on. I'm going to sample them. Is that you beatboxing? You doing something? What's that? Probably. Okay, so that's just a song. That's but where on, the song on, started. On, Jessica <laughs> and Josh wrote that. Uh, and so once we got finished with it, this is kind of a sample of what it sounded like when we... Do What part do we want to play? The whole thing? Just the top? Just play it. We'll fast forward through it. Go ahead. First of all, pause. <laughs> You know it was gospel church whenever the loop starts the song off. <laughs> you know, nobody doesn't know anymore. That's the way I grew up. You know, praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> they set up the song. They set it up for 15 minutes, and then the loop starts. Go ahead. Turn yeah. your volume up. You did good on this one. <laughs> I don't even sound like me no more. Sing, Youngs. I look back on my mistakes, all the pain and heartbreak. I know this for sure. He's always right beside me. Constant, unchanging, loyal, and true. His precious blood has pardoned me. That was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Ooh, I am so glad. We changed that to somewhere. This is one part, right? I'm Just at the second. Or the last chorus. Yeah. It's like a band break. Constant in every trial. Where's it at? I'm changing. You stay the same. Loyal to every promise. You stay true to what you say. Is this it? Yeah, here it comes. I think. His precious blood has pardoned me And all I can say is I am so glad My God is faithful His mercy is uh.
faithful. We got some videos from we, we did a live concert for some of these songs. Oh yeah. And we got some videos of that too. <laughs> It was great stuff. Anyway. Anyway, thank y'all for joining us this week. My name is LeBron Arnwine. And I am Jessica Hyde. We'll see you next time on The Journey.